Wow. Hey, Vinyl Community. <laughs> thought I'd never be doing a video this way, but here I am. So I just thought I'd let you know what's going on. Um, I'm all hooked up. I've uh, been in the hospital now for two days. Uh, just got back from a procedure, so I'm kind of a little tired. Uh, they had to put me to sleep to do that. But let me back up. Um, for the last week or so, I've been losing a lot of blood uh, through my rear end. So I thought I would share this with everybody. Sorry about that part. A lot of you have become family, and a lot of you are my friends, and a lot of you care. And a lot of us at the vinyl community are very close to each other as we've become a family. As each and every one of us do our videos, we draw closer and closer to each other by communicating and talking to each other. So like I said, we all become family, that's for sure. So that's why I'm sharing my story of what's going on. So back to what I said uh, about two weeks, I guess, I've been losing a lot of blood. Just, just can't figure out what's going on. Been to the doctor. Can't figure it out. So uh, the other day, Friday, has been a rough day. Actually, earlier that week, my buried my father-in-law, which was terrible. So he was real close to me, and I was real close to him. That's been real tough. So we just buried him, had to go out of town for a funeral. Uh, my wife and I are doing better about that, but we just had to clean out his apartment and had a big funeral. Um, all of that going on as well. So that's happening. Um, and like I said, then back to me, uh, wasn't feeling too well. Started having uh, real heavy sweats, just going upstairs, you know, or just doing anything. Walking from one end of the kitchen to the other. I was starting to sweat. Uh, my heart was pounding very heavily. I was starting to kind of have eye twinges and no strength in my arms. And I figured I'm getting ready to have a heart attack is what it really was and what it felt like. So we set up an appointment to see the doctor on Tuesday and he told me to get into the emergency room right away, so I did. Uh, that was Monday. They did a procedure. Um, I got two huge um, bags of blood uh, that they pumped me through yesterday. It took four and a half hours for each bag to empty out. Um, sorry I'm talking slow, and I'm sorry I'm not really totally with conversation. I'm still a little bit under anesthesia right now, too, from waking up. Um, so bear with me. Uh, and uh, So anyway, so yeah, I went through two things of blood. Uh, they filled me back up. I haven't I haven't eaten anything in two days. The doctors won't let me. They'll probably put me on a different strict diet. Um, and then this morning they ran a tube down my throat with a camera, looked all around in my stomach and in my lower body and all in through there and chest. And they're not totally sure. I'm still waiting on the doctors. It's now almost one o'clock on Tuesday afternoon, I'm waiting on the doctors, but from pretty much from what they've surmised, it looks like a bleeding ulcer. And we'll start procedures and changing food diets and rebuilding construction of my stomach. They don't need to do any surgery for that. They can just give you medicine to rebuild your body. So I'm just, very weak, very tired, but I thought I'd share with each and every one of you. None of you know what's going on. A few of you do. And for those of you that do know, I do appreciate your thoughts and prayers. Um, Beetle Bread does care for each and every one of you. You guys are family to me, a lot of you in my final community. And uh, <laughs> if this is your first time watching me, this isn't the video you want to watch for a first-time video. But you don't need to comment down below. I probably will be in here for a couple days, and I don't want to offend anybody or hurt anybody's feelings because I haven't commented in a couple days. So if you leave a comment down, down below, just know I probably won't get to you within at least three or four days. Um, so I apologize. I don't, like I said, don't want to hurt anybody's feelings on... 
on doing that, of not getting to you. Um, they have finished up pumping all the bloods and doing the different fluids. It's just a matter of healing now and resting and spending time in the hospital. Um, I'd rather go on a cruise than spend the money and sitting in a hospital, that's for sure. <laughs> so, all right, Vinyl Community, just letting you give you an update of how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. And like I said, you guys are family to me, a lot of you, and a lot of you mean a lot to me. You talk to me a lot, and we talk back and forth. So I'm just letting you know what's going on and how I'm feeling and how I'm doing. <sighs> okay, Vinyl Community, all right. Music Community, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much for your thoughts and prayers, and I, I'll uh, be talking to you soon with uh, more Beatles stuff that I've got and more exciting, more exciting stuff than actual hospital stuff. But this is... My younger viewer, viewers, this is life. This is reality. Things happen, and it just happens. It didn't. Nothing caused it to have happened. They have no idea what caused my ulcer. Um, like I said, stuff happens, but that's okay. God's grace is good, and He's with me. And things are getting better. And um, I'm all bandaged up, and they've been sticking me, and all kinds of stuff. But like I said, for my younger people that are watching, uh, it's okay. I'm good. You know, and I'll be back on my feet real soon, and I'll be driving you all crazy with more videos, that's for sure. <laughs> so, all right, don't mean to ramble on. I'm going to go sleep now. So, take care, Vinyl Community. Appreciate each and every one of you. Take care of each other. Love each other, and... Enjoy each other like us. So, as I say, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. <laughs>